This is the watermark thumbnail maker. It's a simple little program, simple little app. Um, already has a preset default watermark. You grab an image, drag and drop it into the picture box, click it, and then boom, there's your picture, there's your image. Then you can click here on the watermark uh, default button, and you got a watermark. Uh, you know, as you can see, you got the watermark there. You double, you click on the Im on the image to you know make it transparent to blend it in because you want you, you know you want to show as much de as much of the details of the image as possible so people can see the quality of your image but you want the watermark to avoid you know copyrights and stuff to avoid somebody just taking your image and do whatever they want especially if you're selling the image if you're selling the image you know you don't want somebody to be like oh, why pay when I can just right click save the picture to my desktop bang I already got the picture for free you know you're trying to make some money so you want the watermarks for your thumbnail and then when they pay they get the, the non watermark version of this plus as you can see this is smaller than the original image the original image is bigger Let me open it up as you can see it's much bigger so this is just so you can make a thumbnail so you can use it for any website like Deviant Arts or whatnot and it's just quick and simple um, again this is just you know default you can obviously create I'll show you you can create your own little watermark I use this one right here I go to cooltext.com love this site got all types of cool fonts so I can make all types of stuff let's see um, of course um, I guess I'll just type up Kung Fu Yu-Gi-Oh. There you go, Kung Fu Yu-Gi-Oh. That looks pretty cool. Save it, save it onto the desktop. And that will be my watermark. You know, you can put some more effort in, into it. Now you drag and drop. See? And then you just fade it in there. There you go. You got your little Kung Fu Yu-Gi-Oh watermark in there. And there's your image. You know, this is good for stuff like that. Or let's say you want to make a, a thumbnail for a video, so then you could just do something like that. You know, fade it in a little bit, and this could be the thumbnail for a video. You know, fade it in more, or just drag and drop, and just have it completely take over the image. And you could just use any other image other than that one. I was trying to see if there's a folder in here that I have images, but yeah, sure. <coughs> a whole bunch of pictures in here. I can just grab something simple. Just grab that. Click it in there. You know what I mean? So it's simple. And you know, if you want to sell this image, if this image is yours, you can just watermark it. You know, or just use it to to make a a thumbnail or a banner or. I have a top, you know, like an avatar image for forums or something like that. Whatever you want to do. And obviously you print screen, FM print screen, go to paint. I still haven't figured out how to add the, the save feature so that we can just save the image onto the desktop. Because the method in which I create these images, I can't save all those features together. I just adding this is one feature and then the background here is another feature which is why you use this box here to put the image on this so on this this is a background and then there's an image box that you put in front you click here which gives you the background and then you click here or you drag and drop an image and then you have an image on top of another image and that's how you create this effect but to save both these two items together into one image Ironically, it's not easy to do. And of course, you know, you can just. Uh, wait, I did this wrong. Obviously, you want just the, the, grid, the image by itself. You know, the basic stuff, just crop it. I also have a tutorial on that. And there you go, and I, uh, you know, an image, or if you fade it out, you know, you got your little watermark version of it. Whichever way you want to do it. It's just a small little simple little app. Just for the heck of it. Um, 
because I needed uh, I actually needed this ability for a couple of items of mine. Another reason why you will want to do it this way as opposed to opening the image in GIMP and drag and dropping your little um, your little image and then make it opaque. Um, I think I'll just do a quick little tutorial on that. Why right, not? Right? Let me just throw it in. Open the image. That way you can see that it's a similar effect. But there is a reason why I would recommend using my little free app as opposed to using GIMP or Photoshop for this. Alright, so you take the image and you drag and drop. And of course, you see it's not properly sized, so you have to size it. So let me move it a little bit right here. And you gotta resize it. So you see it takes a little bit more effort to do this. To resize it so you can get a bigger thing. And now, this is a layer, so then you gotta go here, open up the layers. You wanna get to the layers tab. You wanna make sure you click on this. You see opa opacity, opacity. This will let you make it more transparent. Let's see. There we go. So here, as you can see, a quick little tutorial on how to watermark your images in GIMP. So you can get the same effect by doing this. But, you know, and then you save it. The difference is, is that what if this image is a large size, um, as in, let's say it's a PNG file, which it is and whatnot. And let's say it's a 300 DPI image, which is like 30 something megabytes. Well, let's see, let's see how, how big this is. Alright, so this is 1.37 megabytes. So you see, it's less than 2 megabytes. But if this was a different um, image, like this was a high quality image, it would be like 30 megabytes. And you don't want to upload a 30 megabyte thumbnail, you know what I mean? Uh, a 2 megabyte thumbnail or kilobyte thumbnail is more than enough. Let's see how much is this one. Like, you see, this is 377 kilobytes. So the original one is two megabytes and I was able to reduce it, you see, to a smaller image to a more condensed version of the original, which is what you're trying to do is a thumbnail. You're not trying to put the original high quality image there, you're trying to create a, a, a thumbnail, a, a, a low resolution watermark thumbnail just to show what you've you know what you created and what you have available whether it be free to download or for purchase purposes. So that's uh, another reason to use this. Um, of course, this is, again, this is quick and easy. You just drag and drop an image, click, drag and drop, you know, click, 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 make it transparent. So there you go, instantly a watermark, then do the whole print screen thing, and then, you know, uh, that's something else. Print screen, and then make a, a image. Uh, thumbnail like this one over here and then use it for whatever you want.